Hello, Professor. Thank you for agreeing to do this interview. Uh, really, really grateful for, for having you here. So, do you want to introduce yourself first? Okay, my name is uh, Titima Satuan. I came from Thailand okay. um, 13 years and 11 months ago oh, wow, okay. to set up the Thai language program here in the U.S. Okay. Well, my first question is just getting to know you, Prof. So, what is your story? So, how did you end up coming here to set up Thai? What did you do before that? Um, where, did, where, where did you grow up? Let's just start with that. So where, where did, did you grow, I grow up? up? Okay, yeah. I was born and raised in Bangkok, okay. Thailand, and then I I studied uh, Thai language and literature for my bachelor degree okay. at okay. Jalalongkorn University in Bangkok, Thailand. And at the same time, I at that time I was also a poet, okay, and translator, uh-huh. and I. I had um, one book published oh. before I went to America. Oh wow! Okay. And I had one um, book of a uh, poetry collection. Okay. Published and it became best uh, bestseller uh, best in Thailand. Oh wow! That year, okay. The year that I had published. Oh. And then um, I started after I I got my BA in Thailand language literature. Um, I studied uh, philosophy, but um, I when actually when you when you do a master degree, mm-hmm. a PhD, and you do your research, yeah. your thesis, you should have a question that you really want to to pursue to to find out the the um uh, the answer. Yeah. But. At that time, I, I didn't have any questions in my life. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I didn't know what to uh, what to, to do for my thesis. Okay. I, I just finished my coursework. And then I noticed that a lot of my professors at uh, Jula studied uh, linguistics. Okay. And I like language, right? So I, I just uh, applied uh, and went to study uh, linguistics okay. uh, at University of Hawaii. Okay, okay. And then I just plan to, to do early master degree and to come back to teach uh, English, something like that. But then um, they, over there they gave me a scholarship so I didn't have to pay for for tuition fee. Okay. And then, so it's, it's free, right? Yeah, Education yeah. Education there. And also I met a man that I... Uh, that uh, eventually I married. Oh, okay. I got married too. So okay, so I study for my PhD. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because it's a good deal, right? Okay. And then uh, uh, at that time I also uh, taught Thai. Okay. Um, at the university, um, I I was like uh, substituting the regular the full time teacher okay. when she was away. Okay. And um, and then I also taught. In the summer uh, summer school in various uh, universities like um, University of uh, Washington and University of uh, Oregon, okay, and um, Arizona State University, oh, wow. okay. something like that. So right. I, I had experience in um, in teaching Thai as a foreign language and in managing programs because actually uh, in Oregon I didn't really teach but I coordinated uh, Thai and Lao and Khmer language programs okay. during the summer okay. and then uh, uh, but at that time there was no uh, available full-time positions for right. in, in universities mm-hmm. okay. for the, this kind of uh, yeah, yeah. job so um, I looked around and and uh, I, f- I found that at NUS they have Southeast Asian Studies program, mm-hmm. but um, they at that time they were teaching only Indonesian mm-hmm. and Vietnamese. Okay. So I approached NUS, approached uh, Southeast Asian Studies program, and asked if they would be interested in setting up in opening Thai, offering Thai to yeah, uh, yeah. students, and they said yes. Oh, okay. So I okay. just moved here. Oh, that's 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 a very interesting story. So, how long did you live in the U.S.? Uh, uh, Twelve years. Twelve years. Oh, okay, okay. So, could you tell us more about your uh, poetry book? How? Uh, so, what was it about? Uh, was it in Thai as well? 
Uh, it's in Thai and uh, it's about love. Okay. Uh -huh, because actually when I was in... I started writing poetry when I was in grade 5. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, and at that time I was very politically active. I mean, mm -hmm. very um, critical. Mm. And I wrote about uh, politics Okay. when I was in grade 5. Mm. But then later I got um, sick of... Uh, uh, dirty stuff in politics, right? So I, I wrote only about love. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. And uh, order, I, I took order. Like okay. um, my friends want uh, a poem for whatever uh, um, occasions I, yeah, I can. Yeah, I yeah, can yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, or even to <laughs> as homework. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes, sometimes my friends will get. Uh, better grades than I. <laughs> 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 anyway, so um, so uh, I had my book, I mean my collection published because one day uh, I I heard that my one of my uh, when I wrote um I started to send it to a, a magazine, women magazine, and okay. they published my okay. my uh, poems. And then one of my poems got turned into a, a song by, okay. by a, a band, and they were looking right. for for the writer so that they could uh, pay the royalty or whatever. And um, and they so I called them, and somehow they believed me that it was <laughs> it was my own. And they said a okay. lot of people called and claimed that it was theirs. Okay. I, I don't remember what kind of proof I I I had. Yeah. But. That one was published probably because of this. I, I yeah, yeah I because prove. of your book. Okay. And um, and they offer me money, but it's too so little that I I said no, it's too little. So <laughs> I'm I'm not selling my poem yeah, for for yeah. that little money. So you just take it for free. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so I it um made me realize that it's time to to have uh them published okay. in a okay. book okay. so that right. uh, I will have uh, at least uh, copyright. I mean, mm. at least people know that this is mine. Yeah, mm. yeah. Right. Okay. And then um, we aim at um, Valentine's Day. Okay, okay, mm. okay. Uh -huh. And, and um, the, the situation in Thailand at that time is around 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, most uh, poetry written in that period were about politics. <laughs> So when my my book came out, it was about love and yeah, all the time. Yeah. So we saw it. Um, it was sold out in two weeks. Okay. Uh huh. Uh, for two thousand copies. Oh. So we had to uh, print it again for three thousand another three thousand copies, something like that. Right. So right. it was a hit. And that's then, awesome. <laughs> uh, th yeah. Thank you. And then um, it was reprinted altogether. It eight times wow okay yeah. having your own book wow okay right. and then i had uh, another book came out a few years after that and then i had a children book remember i show i show uh, <laughs> my students in class okay it's about a cat at the university <laughs> okay and um yeah it's a true story okay and my friend one of my best friends uh did watercolor mm -hmm. illustration for the book. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. So my next question is about what makes you want to wake up every day and and come to work and 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 do what you're doing, you know, to 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 teach them Thai and just just do what you're doing. What? Uh, what, what would you say is the single thing that drives you? Because uh, it's fun to be with uh, people. Okay. I love being with people and I love to, maybe this is not politically correct, mm -hmm. but maybe I want, I like to teach, I like to control. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. okay. Control how you speak Thai. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, and, okay. and it's fun to relate to people, mm. to, to express yourself and to learn about other people, okay. to, to understand uh, Young younger people also actually I'm also interested in older generation but they don't let me teach them right yeah <laughs> unlike in America in America yeah. a lot of my at that time a lot of my students 
were older than me okay. because uh, usually our students were uh, grad students mm-hmm. yeah but over here uh, my students keep younger yeah. and younger yeah. each year <laughs> I don't know why <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah so I, I, I love to be with people okay mm-hmm. okay yeah yeah but that, that I think that's inspiring enough right to be, to be a right, teacher and right, to do right. what you're doing okay uh, so in all these years have you have you had this one experience that you remember from your from your teaching is there anything that's ever stood out um, in your journey so far some I don't know one fun class or one student said something something that's that's always been in your memory do you have anything like that to me every class is fun okay I, I think in every level also yeah but to sum it up actually to sum up uh, the, all the fun um, moments we have had in class yeah is uh, the the how you call it the skit or the the drama that my Thai four students did uh, four years ago at the 10th anniversary of uh, the program oh okay okay uh-huh. yeah yeah uh-huh. in I think 2008 okay yeah because I came in 1998 okay so in 2008 okay. we yeah. celebrated the 10th anniversary and we had Thai night mm-hmm. and we had a, a variety of shows okay. done by my students and student and Thai students in 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 US okay and um, yeah and students in the uh, music um, Thai musical of song oh okay here. okay yeah and then my Thai four students uh, did uh, a drama uh, called Ying Rien Ying Ba, which means the more we study, the crazier we become. <laughs> okay. And, and then they, they imitated the um, classes Thai one, Thai two, Thai three, Thai okay. four okay. over here, and how how we taught them. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's it's also a musical because they dance oh, right, and okay. sing and then uh the, the, the guy who played me <laughs> okay. try to uh dress uh to uh to dress as I do, like with the headband oh, okay. and always uh came to class with a bag mm-hmm. and and then he said um who uh, I'm the queen. Uh, who dare? Who dares to challenge me? Something like that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think okay. that's some of all the fun. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. Is is there someone who's who's been your mentor through these years, or is there someone who's been your inspiration when when you've needed it? Uh, do you have a role model? role model in teaching yeah. anything in just just maybe in life you know just someone who who's always said the right things or or who's been there for you throughout mm, that would be that would be uh, uh, education in Buddhism that okay. I have received mm-hmm. and um, yeah uh, Buddhism and also because I don't think I'm, I'm a Buddhist just by birth or by right, tradition. Right. Yes. But I really studied the, the teaching and I really agree mm. with the teaching. Okay, okay. And also what our, how you call it, um, ancestors have been, have done for the country, like, um, or even the, the present king okay. who has always been working hard to develop the country. Yeah. And also my... My grandparents okay. and my father, okay. uh, my father yeah. passed away. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Who uh, who became successful through education and through honesty, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and who um, never corrupted even yeah. when they were in the position that okay. they could. Yeah. 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 So I think this is very important that parents should should relate to mm. children. I'm I'm mm. I'm, hap- I'm I'm lucky that my mom always uh, tells me about um, how honest uh, uh, my dad and her 
father yeah were. yeah yeah so yeah i think it's very important okay mm-hmm. so okay. those are good good things that i always um rely upon okay okay mm-hmm. so you you talked about buddhism right so are there any learnings that 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 are your core values you know that just just some teachings from buddhism that that always form the foundation of your everyday life uh, could you share some of them with us okay there are some stuff that are like uh, the most important that i still don't i mean can't follow okay. which is um uh, i think the main the main teaching of buddhism is that there are three characteristics the first thing is um nothing lasts forever uh huh okay okay the second one is everything changes uh huh and the third thing is the third characteristic is uh nothing is ours okay 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 and of course i still oh this is my handphone <laughs> don't take it away <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay so, uh-huh. so i'm still in the world world okay. three, um situation mm. and when i was young like i think in grade four they started teaching uh, buddhism uh, in a class okay. uh, principles that we should follow when when we work mm. uh-huh. which is like there are four of them First of all, you have to love what you do. Okay. Mm-hmm. You have to uh, be diligent. Mm-hmm. You have to focus. Then uh, I I just didn't uh, memorize. Yeah, you know, yeah. I didn't yeah, memorize of course, because yeah. I forgot the mm-hmm. last one. Yeah. But <laughs> but I I thought that it was true. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. and I I noticed uh, from myself also when I do something that I love, I could do well. Mm. So you have to love what you do. Yeah, yeah. So I, I think that's why I think oh, Buddhism, Buddhism is very, um, it's something that that I can rely upon. I can yeah. believe. I, I agree with the teaching. That's right. Okay. And actually, that's what the Buddha taught. You should not believe believe in anything just because someone told you to believe, just because uh, your ancestors believed this, blah blah blah. You have to think for yourself. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. I think there are there are a couple of uh, quotes that Buddha said that are very inspiring. I remember one which which is, um, happiness is like a candle that's burning. It never gets shortened by uh, sharing. So you can light a thousand candles with one candle, but it's the, the candle's life is never shortened. You know, it's uh-huh, it's living right, its own life. Right, so right. that's like happiness. It's the same thing, but you can you can share it, and it's never going to be decreased by no, sharing. Right. But some people thought that it would decrease. Well, <laughs> it's like yeah, yeah. Yeah. Money or something like that. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. So and it's very inspiring. And final question, Prof. So what would be your advice for? So we have we have readers who are. So we call these real leaders, right? So we call these leaders who are passionate about what they're doing mm-hmm. and who who want to lead whatever they're doing, be it their life, be it their family, mm-hmm. or their work. So what would your advice be for these people who are reading this I blog? I think that uh, people should be sincere to themselves. Mm-hmm. Uh, when they do something, they should do it because they like it or, or they love it. Mm-hmm. Like. If you want to study something yeah. for your BA, uh, it would be better if you know what you want, mm-hmm. what you want to to study, mm-hmm. what you want to be uh, to do for your um, living. Of course, this is not a like a cast in in stone. You can always change because yes. um, you will grow up every day. You should grow up ev- every day, yeah, right? Yeah. But at least you. The the better you you find out what your passion is, uh, the better. And you you should not uh, suppose that you like um, music mm-hmm. or, or art, but you want to study. Uh, you choose you choose to study econom- economics. Yeah. Because you think that it will uh, bring you more money or mm-hmm. more success. Yeah. I don't think that is. That will make you happy okay. because uh, because deep inside you will still want you, you, you think that oh no, too bad I don't get to do what mm. I want. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. I think you have to be sincere with yourself. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. That's that's all I have, Profs. Thank you so okay. much. <laughs> it was it was a lovely. <laughs>